cute animals can do no harm, right? Well, think again. Some of the world's deadliest animals hide behind cute facades and outwardly quiet demeanors. Kind of like the animal in number one. It's something you definitely don't want to mess around with. Find out more about it as we bring you 15 cute looking but deadly animals. Number 15. The Hippo. The hippopotamus is one of Africa's most loved and popular animals, but did you know that they are, in fact, well known as the most dangerous animal in Africa? This is partly due to their deceptively cute appearance and the fact that these enormous grunting fellows are extremely aggressive and unpredictable. Not only do these guys have a very annoying Christmas song associated with them, many people perceive them as being docile, fat, lazy, and slow, when in fact they account for more human fatalities in Africa than any other animal. Both male and female hippos are enormously territorial. Male hippos are tasked with guarding the riverbanks and defending their homes from any animal or person who threatens it. It comes as no surprise, then, that most human fatalities occur on a riverbank that belong to a hippo. Females are tasked with protecting the youngsters and will attack anything that comes close to them, threatening or not. Number 14. The Domestic Cat. Cat people, skip this entry if you don't want to look at your cat in a different light. The fact of the matter is, they are not the cute little fur balls that you think they are. They are stone cold predators. Cats that live in the wild or indoor pets allowed to roam outdoors kill from 1.4 billion to as many as 3.7 billion birds in the continental US each year. The estimates are much higher than the hundreds of millions of annual bird deaths previously attributed to cats. The study also says that from 6.9 billion to as many as 20.7 billion mammals, mainly mice, shrews, rabbits, and voles, are killed by cats annually in the lower 48 states alone. Number 13. The Raccoon. The cuteness of a wild animal is not necessarily an indication of how safe it is. Raccoons are a prime example. They're fluffy, they're curious, and they have a wide-eyed stare that may have you thinking that these animals are too innocent to ever do anything wrong but they actually do lots of wrong things when they come into your yard. They tip over your trash and spread it across your yard, they damage your home, they bring fleas, ticks, and other parasites into your yard, and they leave feces and urine as they explore. And of course, worst of all, under the right circumstances, they can attack. They have sharp teeth and claws and the strength to inflict significant harm. There are many accounts of children and adults being disfigured by raccoon attacks, and they're also known to inflict wounds on dogs and cats, especially at night. Number 12. The Kangaroo. As a rule, large animals should always be left alone because there is always a possibility that they could cause people harm. Amongst this group are kangaroos which are to be considered a real possible danger to people, especially if cornered or they somehow feel threatened. Their hind legs can disembowel opponents such as other kangaroos or other animals, so they should be considered dangerous to people on foot. This is especially if they're approaching the animal too closely or scare it by accident. They're pretty dangerous to people not on foot as well. Just ask any Australian driver who had the misfortune of having one of these animals jump in front of their cars while driving. Number 11. The Dingo. Dingoes belong to the family of wolves, but they are often classified as a group of dogs. They actually look like medium-sized dogs and weigh around 20 kilos. Dingoes breed once a year and often live in packs, just like wolves. Scientists who have been studying dingoes say they are highly intelligent animals and closer to wolves than the dogs. They like to live in groups and can solve problems rather quickly. Dingoes came to Australia about 4,000 years ago, probably with Asian seafarers. At that time, the native population had been living on the continent for over 50,000 years. Dingoes became quickly associated with aborigines and a part of their lives. They gave them names and were a part of the family, and sometimes dingoes were even buried with their owners. Although dingoes are wild animals, they have been thought to be shy creatures, but in the past decade there have been reports of dingoes attacking people and in one case ended up in a fatality. Look up the dingoes got my baby incident, you'll know what I'm saying. Number 10. The Chimpanzee. Chimpanzees with a genetic profile that's 98% like ours can seem like cute, hairy iterations of people. However, there are periodic violent attacks on humans, including one in Javila, California, back over in 2005 in which a man was maimed by two chimps at an animal sanctuary. These are reminders that the animals have at least one big difference than us. Brute strength. And if you think that chimpanzee attacks are uncommon or rare, think again. Most of the time they attack through cage bars and they can bite off fingers. 
It happens more often with people that don't know very well and people who aren't familiar with chimpanzees. But it has happened to many of the best scientists and researchers who are now missing a few digits of their own. Number 9. The Mute Swan Mute swans are big and beautiful birds. Too big and beautiful for our own good. The birds are one of the largest waterfowl in North America and Europe, weighing up to 28 pounds and with a wingspan of up to 7.9 feet. Despite their quiet and graceful appearance, they are also one of the most aggressive birds in the world. When it comes to their nests, mute swans are quite territorial. Should you encroach on their territory, accidentally or otherwise, a mute swan will not hesitate to attack you with its lengthy wings. They're also very muscular, too, so don't be surprised if you end up in the hospital after the attack with broken bones, bruises, and other bodily injuries. Number 8. The Giant Panda Pandas are the pinups of wildlife conservation, and it's easy to see why. They have cute little large round faces, big dark patches that can make their eyes look bigger in a childlike curiosity. Now oh, they're so cute! Their seemingly lazy attitude to eating, sitting on their bottoms with their legs sticking out while chewing fistfuls of bamboo, only makes them seem even more endearing. And yet, while they might seem cuddly and even charming at times, giant pandas are still bears and are not to be underestimated. Pandas have one of the most powerful bites of all mammals in the carnivora group. Their paws are also tipped with six large claws, and yes, pandas actually have six fingers. And they are also dexterous, but can also deliver a formidable swipe. In the wild, they are partial to a bit of meat to supplement their otherwise vegetarian diet, often killing and eating small mammals. And I'm sure if given the chance, they wouldn't mind a side of you either. Number 7. The Moose While moose are generally perceived to be not dangerous at all, more people in Alaska are injured by moose than by bears each year. Moose will usually flee when threatened, but under certain circumstances they can also become very aggressive. People can be hurt when moose charge, stomp, and kick to protect themselves or their young. Now, moose are actually not normally aggressive. However, they can certainly become aggressive when they are harassed by people, dogs, and traffic, or when they're hungry and tired, especially in winter when they must walk through deep snow. Sometimes people throw snowballs at moose or approach them too closely for safety. Dogs can actually surprise moose in backyards, and loose dogs may chase or bark at them. When people repeatedly approach them or chase them away, moose become stressed and agitated. Each moose has a different tolerance level, but if they're harassed enough, many moose will respond aggressively. Number 6. The Rat I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but there are quite a few people who find rats quite cute. Me included. Anyways, that still doesn't take away the fact that they're still considered vermin and can be deadly in more ways than one. They have the tendency to chew on anything and everything, including electrical wiring and even gas pipes, which can and will cause fires if left undetected. They can also do significant structural damage to your home. Also, rats spread disease through their saliva, but you don't have to be bitten or scratched by an infected rat to get the rat bite fever, or RBF. You can contract RBF by handling a rat with a disease or consuming food or liquids that infected rats have contaminated with certain bacteria. This bacteria is Streptobacillus monoliniformis, or Spirillum minus. Number 5. The Dolphin Dolphins have an impressive reputation. Not only are they incredibly intelligent, but they also tend to interact with humans on a regular basis. But unfortunately, just because dolphins have a perpetual grin and an overall friendly demeanor doesn't mean they're safe. Or even friendly. Or happy. Contrary to popular belief, dolphins do on occasion attack humans. When Valerie Ryan was attacked by a dolphin, the animal plowed into her with its snout and left her with six spinal fractures, three broken ribs, and a damaged lung, as well as post-traumatic stress disorder, which I do not blame her in the slightest. Number 4. The Fire Salamander The Fire Salamander is an amphibian mostly found in European countries. They're famous for their superb black and yellow coloration although some specimens also have shades of red and orange. They can live for up to 50 years, and all these characteristics make people think that they are awesome pets to have. In fact, there's already people who do have them as pets. The thing is, taking in this creature as a pet is equivalent to petting an angry diamondback rattlesnake under its chin, and also maybe calling it some insulting names. The skin of this animal is covered with a toxin which it secretes from glands located just under the skin. This toxin is extremely toxic, and when ingested, attacks the victim's central nervous system directly, and can cause a variety of problems, which includes uncontrollable muscle convulsions and hypertension. Needless to say, the toxin is extremely harmful to us humans. 
Number three, the elephant. Elephants are the largest living land animals, and they're found most often in savannas, grasslands, and forests, but occupy a wide range of habitats, including deserts, swamps, and highlands in tropical and subtropical regions of Africa and Asia. Human fatalities due to elephants range from about 100 to more than 500 per year. Elephants have been known to raid villages or croplands in South Asia, and sometimes gore or step on humans that get in the way. Their sheer size and weight is enough to deliver a lethal blow from one strike alone. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick is one of the very few venomous mammals in existence and is quite possibly the cutest amongst them. What creature is this? Find out next with number two, the Slow Loris. Positively cute and fuzzy, the Slow Loris is one of the rarest primates in the world. When you see one, I'd understand if you immediately want to keep one as a pet. Unfortunately, it's an extremely poisonous creature. In fact, it's the only living poisonous primate on Earth. They have poison glands on the sides of their elbows, which release a foul-smelling toxic fluid whenever they feel threatened. They would then lick some poison from the gland and mix it with their saliva and bite the one who disturbed it. This poison could cause allergic reactions and even anaphylactic shock. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number one, the beaver. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Beavers are actually extremely dangerous. These cute animals are nocturnal and are native to North America and Eurasia. The unique nature of these animals is that they build homes in the form of dams, canals, and lodges. They are usually aggressive when someone takes them from their natural habitat. Also, when they're infected with rabies, they become unpredictable and more prone to attack. When scared, they will attack humans, and another thing, they're capable of attacking people both in land and in water. Their trademark sharp front teeth can easily pierce the skin and flesh of victims. Their bites can sometimes cause damage to the arteries, which as doctors will tell you is not something that you want to happen to you. Know of any more deceptively dangerous animals? Let us know down below in the comments. Also check out the channel's other amazing videos. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.